थ्री कैरनोट इंजिन ऑपरेट इन सीरीज बिटवीन हीट सोर्स एट टेम्परेचर टी वन एंड हीट सिंक एट टेम्परेचर टी फोर देर आर टू अदर रीजन वायर्स एट टेम्परेचर टी टू एंड थ्री थ्री एस शोन विथ टी वन इज ग्रेटर दैन टी टू इज ग्रेटर दैन टी थ्री इज ग्रेटर दैन टी फोर द थ्री इंजिन आर इक्वली इफिशियंट इफ ओके नाउ सी क्या दिया है यहाँ पर देर आर थ्री इंजिन ई वन ई टू एंड ई थ्री All engines, all three engines are equally efficient. Means efficiency of all the engine is same. Now here source temperature is T1, sink temperature T2. Here for E2 source temperature T2, sink temperature T3. For E3 source temperature T3, sink temperature T4. So we know that efficiency of a heat engine is one minus sink temperature divided by source temperature. So as we know efficiency of First engine is equal to second engine is equal to third engine, so this can be written as one minus. What is the sink temperature of E1? T2 by T1 is equal to one minus T3 divided by T2 is equal to one minus T4 divided by T3. So here this one 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 gets cancelled out, and this will be equal to T2 by T1 is equal to T3 divided by T2. Is equal to T4 divided by T3, right? Now, यहाँ से see if I compare these two, then T2 can be written as T2 square is equal to T1 into T3. That is, T2 is equal to under root of T1 into T3. This is the formula for T2. T2. Now, see, I want to find T2. And T3 in all option T2 and T3 has been asked, and that two T2 and T3 are in the form of T1 and T4. So here T3 is there. So first we'll do one thing. We'll find the T3 in terms of T4. For that purpose, I will use this equation. So we can write here T3 square is equal to T2 into T4. So T3 is equal to under root of T2 into T4. राइट सो यहां पे आ गया हमारे पास T2 टू एंड टी थ्री डू वन थिंग वॉट वी कैन डू हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस टी थ्री पुट दिस वैल्यू हियर सो टी टू इज इक्वल टू अंडर रूट ऑफ टी वन इंटू अंडर रूट ऑफ टी टू इंटू टी फोर राइट सो टी टू इज इक्वल टू इट कैन बी रिटर्न एज टी वन रेस टू वन बाय टू टी टू रेस टू वन बाय फोर And T4 raised to 1 by 4, right? So if T2 raised to 1 by 4 comes to this side, then this will be T2 raised to 1 minus 1 by 4 will be equal to 3 by 4 is equal to T1 raised to 1 by 2, T4 raised to 1 by 4, right? Now, uh, if I multiply the power by 4 by 3 in all, then it will look like this. See. T2 is equal to T1 in T1 raised to 1 by 2 into T4 raised to 1 by 4 ka power 4 by 3, which is equal to T1 square T4 raised to power 1 by 3. This is the value of T2. So T2 is equal to T1 square. T1 square T4 raised to power 1 by 3. So here we are having this. Only one option is matching. T1 square T4 raised to power 1 by 3 means option B is a correct one, right? Now we can solve for T3 also. There is no issue in solving for T3 because directly we have formula. T3 is equal to under root of T2 into T4, right? This is the formula. Now we have directly formula of T2. So T3 is equal to under root of. What is T2? Acha, I will write like this. What is T2? T1 square. That is T1 raised to 2 by 3 into T4 raised to 1 by 3 into T4 raised to 1 by 2. So this will be equal to T1 raised to 1 by 3. T4 raised to 1 by 6 into T4, so this will be equal to hmm, T1 raised to 1 by 
into t4 raised to 1 by 6 plus um, this will be 1 by 2 now so this will be equal to 2 divided by 3 wait 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 I think I did some mistake here t2 raised to 1 by 2 Okay, okay, no, no mistake. See here, T1 into T4 ka power 2 ka power 1 by 3. So, this is your T3. Now, this is matching with this one. So, again, option B is a correct one. Right? 